Hello, my lovely earth signs, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. This is a quick check-in for you guys for the weekend, September the 10th through September the 16th. It can resonate with you now and definitely over the weekend. So let's get the overall, guys. For the reading, males, females. I don't know why I feel like I'm speaking to a group of males right now. Could be females just in the masculine, but <clears throat> I just feel like I'm speaking to a group of masculines. Literally males right now. So, unexpected income. All right, unexpected. Now, them fire sign. You, if you got fire in your chart, heavy rising, uh, sun, moon, or rising, definitely check out the fire signs if you have that because they was dealing with money, but they were dealing with something else too. They had babies and, and love and all that type of stuff, right? Y'all, hold on. I'm trying to get my card here. I done screwed up. All right. So, all right, just whatever. Okay. So, unexpected income is the uh, overall thing for y'all reading, okay? So, uh, hey, so somebody got some money coming in, Cappy. I know you always be trying to keep them duckies. Virgo about that money. And Toy's like, man, I'm always trying to get mine. It ain't like, like you dog on earth signs. If I need a loan, I call one of my earth sign friends. You know, I know they got that loot. I know they got that loot. They be keeping it stashed, too. Especially them dogs on toys. They got to act like they ain't got no money, but they be having it. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, you got false person. First card out, okay? You dealing with somebody that's false. They trying to get that money. They trying to get something up out you, Cappy. Acting like they got it all, like they got the few dollars or whatever going on. I don't think so. I don't think they got it, Cappy. Virgo, what Virgo dealing with? Okay, what Virgo dealing with? Guys, I'm finna do your readings individually, but this first set, to, so that I can clarify this unexpected money, what we dealing with, then we go to individually, okay? Just bear with me, you'll get used to it. Make sure you hit the notification button so you don't miss none of my uploads. Come on, Virgo. You holding up the process. Bad habits, it didn't fall out. I ain't gonna take it, Virgo, because... You know, I don't know. Unless you got a bad habit. Like, I'm seeing, is your health okay? Is your health down because you this unexpected income? Now, you could have to spend unexpected income. Spirit telling me to take that bad health. Maybe a medical bill came up for somebody you know, a father, a mother, or a cousin, sister, brother. Someone may have came up having, you know, some health issues, and maybe you had to pay some medical bill. Definitely could be you also, Virgo. Okay, Taurus, pop right up. Oh, Lord, imprisonment. Taurus, with this unexpected, is you getting somebody out of prison, somebody locked up. Somebody went to jail, Taurus. You got to get somebody out of jail. You better not have been the one that got locked up, Taurus. Somebody got to come get you out. This is unexpected. Now, y'all got me on a different page. Now, I thought the unexpected income was you increasing your income. Y'all got some false person around you, you're spending extra money or your health's becoming bad because you're leaking money like a, 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 a site, a, a, I don't know, like a faucet or something is messing with your health, Virgo. Because one thing, you're not going to let nothing take you away from your stability. And if your stability is off balance, I know your health is all off because you ain't having it. You didn't got stressed out or worried, your hair falling out or you ain't got a haircut. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm getting with some males here. But it's like you ain't went and had no haircut. You ain't shaved. You ain't did nothing. But you better get yourself together, okay? All right, don't get sick over that. There's a way out. I'm sure I'm feeling it right now. Taurus, I don't know what's going on with you with this imprisonment. Now, you done had somebody locked up. Did you have a stalker? Now they want you to get them out of jail? I don't know how it's working. But over the next seven days, y'all, look... Well, we got a courthouse. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is Raleigh Taurus. <laughs> I don't know. Taurus, you got to go to court. And you know if you didn't pull this crap on Friday, that the courts are not open to Monday. Somebody going to be in jail to Monday. 
I don't know who it is, but somebody going to be in jail. You got the courthouse under the bargain. I'm just saying. I ain't in nobody's business. But if you got something you got planned, somebody done pissed you off, and you know you may go to jail, I suggest you don't do that on the 10th, September the 10th, cause, which is a Friday, because you're not going to get out to Monday. I don't suggest you do it at all, Taurus, but it's really up to you. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on Taurus. Let's keep on going, because Taurus got some issues they want to work on. If they don't care about going to jail and being in prison, I really don't need to be talking to you this way because I don't want you to put your hand. That's just never mind. Go on, go on, go on. Okay, let's get back over here to Capricorn. In this situation, ain't no better because there's a false person, Cappy, around us trying to get some money or trying to show up in a way that this is not... You're going to have to probably take that person to court. I don't know. It's unexpected. They ain't pay you like they supposed to. They full of mess claiming they got all this loot and they ain't got none. Talking about they going to put in and they ain't put in none. Did they not pay the rent, the gas, the light, and now you got to try to figure out how to do this. And you thought this person was stable and abundant and showing up in their own way. And here they come meeting that loot from you. Unexpected. Capricorn, just expect to spend some money this weekend. From now to the 16th, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, y'all beating that. Taurus, you probably could not have to if you control yourself. But then somebody probably going to push your buttons and they going to send you off. And if they send you off, it may not end up. I don't know why I'm stuck on Taurus. I'm afraid for you, Taurus. Calm down. I just feel your energy. So, okay. All right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to, Taurus, because I'm hoping I can help you calm down because I'm fit. it's not fitting. Your energy from you is not good. I don't know what's going on, but okay. All right. See, I'm here. I'm here. I got you. Even though we make crazy mistakes, you know, we got to get through it. All right. So I need to focus. Okay, focus. All right. Okay. All right. Let's just go, Cappy. Capricorn, Capricorn. What is Capricorn? This false person. What's going on with this false person with Capricorn? Let's see what is going on. This false person with Cappy. What is going on? What you need to know about this situation? What is this? Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Somebody that's single. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so some. Let me get one more on this. Okay, because this person is free, fancy free. And a nine of pentacles, they'll burn. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Cappy, I'm getting a different message here now. Hold on. Oh, somebody got you in your head. You wanted to win at all costs, Cappy. Uh-huh. There's a little heartbreak with this. Seeing the truth in it. Oh, the third party is it? Okay, so, uh, Cappy, oh, but you want to put the work in? All right, so something turned out the way you wanted it, Cappy. But that's someone you wanted to be with, and you were with a false person that was showing up as if they was going to be this person stable, nourishing to you, and you realize that that is not, in no ways, the truth, right? This false person got you so up in your head, you're like, what the heck is going on? I have been duped. <laughs> you're like, I've been duped. And, I, and you may have left a good person or another choice that you may have had behind. And this person was single and nourishing. And you seen them in all their glory. Yes, you did. Cappy, you seen, you made a mistake. You made a mistake, Cappy. That's what you're feeling like. You're like, this is not working out. Right? I made the wrong choice. And it's got you tripping. It straight got you tripping. Like, I, <laughs> I fought for this. You know, I wanted to win at all costs, but now I think you're turning the tables around and you see this queen of pentacles, very nourishing and everything. This false person, they've been, they've been revealed. You know who they is. You may even uh, feel like you may have had to pay them or something like that. Maybe something happened in the past what brought out their true colors, how you found out who they were, okay? Uh, maybe this person took you to court and wanted more money from you than they deserved. That could be the false person too. And true, and, and you just realizing how that was totally a mistake. This person definitely could have had third party energy going on. Or you did because you was not sure what direction you wanted to go in when it came to this, okay? But you are seeing this situation clear now and you're not accepting no shorts now, right? And you know, yeah, you have the, um, 
You have the hermit card. You didn't did a lot of reflecting, right? That's just a person sitting there reflecting. Now, you got that sword. You're like, we could do this the hard way or we could do this the easy way. It don't make a difference. But whoever this is coming towards you, especially this false person, you got news for them. But you also have your mind and eyes set on something new that you feel that you were dealing with this situation with made it a third party. And this person, this single person, you probably don't want them to get away because you are definitely seeing them as someone that you would like to share your life with and be with you like just you like i don't want them to be single you really want them to be the queen of pentacles which would be a wife right someone you can have committal to you that that's yours you know or not really like yours yours like ownership of anyone but someone that you want um to truly sh um share your nourishing you want to nourish them and you want them to be able to nourish you back. This false person, I don't believe that was it. I believe that's a situation you're leaving behind. Either a long-term relationship, someone you're walking out on, or some baby mama or baby daddy, but whatever the situation is. But you're leaving that situation behind because you found out that that person was not what you thought. So the unexpected income is definitely, you could also, Kathy, be getting some unexpected income maybe there is a settlement or divorce maybe you were in a third party or the person you were with was third party or whatever and now you went to court and you you know you won the case and now you are single free nourishing yourself and you got this person sitting up there talking about i shouldn't have never played you i shouldn't have never tried to win at all costs and now it you know it's like that third party situation didn't work out like i thought it was they was false somebody could be telling you that and you like oh, oh that's cool but no thank you <laughs> like i'm on something else i don't have time you don't even have to come in and tell me your truths right now okay let me keep going you got the eight uh pinnacles under the bottom you working on you you working on that loop that's that unexpected you about to bring it in yourself you like now what i'm gonna do with all this money i got so many options what am i going to do you sitting there trying to figure out what you're gonna do with that loop okay let's get a closing message here because i've been on this y'all reading too long Closing message for Cappy. Now you done threw it all the way down there, Cappy. Come on now. Okay, hold on, guys. Ah. Did y'all see my hair, my ponytail? Look, there's a reason why I ain't on camera. Do y'all want the message or do you want to look at my hair? Or do you want to look at my hair, huh? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, look at here. We have... The high priestess, yeah, you've been enlightened. Just follow your intuition, keep moving forward, Cappy, and everything is going to work out just fine for you, okay? All right, so just keep moving, Cappy. Your intuition is right about this situation. You have, you're going to have a good outcome. The outcome for uh, Cappy in this situation, what is the outcome? The outcome is temperance, patience, time, right? So Archangel Michael's overseeing this, right? You got it by your angels, high priests, very spiritual, acknowledge, knowing of what it is you want and who you want, or this person you're dealing with could be very spiritual and exactly knows what they want. And they are also willing to commit and come into this union with you. Moving on to Virgo. 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 Let's see what this helps about. You know, y'all dog on uh earth sign better clam together. Y'all might need to help your Virgos at this time. Y'all all earth sign, so y'all should be rolling together. You know, we need to come together as communities <laughs> when one needs help. Because Virgo would definitely show up for any of you, that's for sure. Virgo leaves no one out in the cold. Okay. All right, Virgo. What is this bad help? What is this situation that you're dealing with here, Virgo? We got the page of swords in reverse. The page of swords in reverse. Some you weren't paying attention to, Virgo. They slipped past you. Some you was not paying. You know, the, the, um, the page of swords keep an eye and gets all the information and come back. Somebody, some you didn't. You got the seven of swords. Somebody got you, Virgo. Yeah, some you didn't pay attention to. Somebody came in your life and they did something to you that caused you to have health problems. I don't know if they stole money from you, uh, that unexpected income, whatever it is, mess with your health. But they were lying, stealing, sneaky, somehow or another. They, and it's like they came in a thief in the night, Virgo. 
Somebody that came and stole something from you. <laughs> That's not, that is, Virgo, I'm not laughing because if this is serious, this is serious. But I'm just saying the way this is showing up, like somebody came in a thief and they caught you slipping, they caught you sleep. Maybe your health had been acting up or something, but it's something you didn't see. And they came right in on you. They, they asked you for some money or something. You didn't investigate it. You didn't read up on it. You didn't learn about it or anything. I'm also feeling like your health could have been something that you agreed to that you don't even believe or trust in that being the cure for you, but you did it anyway. And you got panic and, you know, started having anxiety and panic attacks within yourself because you just feel that this wasn't it and you didn't have enough information and your health started to just, you know, not, you're not failing. It's not failing, but you're just not yourself, right? Because anytime you do something against your will, it always it makes you feel some kind of way and it will take effect on the body and the soul, you know? Um, I'm mean, just seven of swords is seeing this big old eagle. See how he got the, you see crow? I mean, it's crow. I think that's crow. Whatever it is, it's black. That's a crow. And you see how he got his mouth right here? So this person is walking, right? And then you got the crow right here. It's like the crow waking you up, letting you know, like, set off the alarm. Maybe you caught him. You caught him in the mix, right? Because this crow got that big old, he just let off that big old alarm, you know, when this person was on their way out. And you literally probably seen them going. They left all kind of evidence behind them. You can't catch them, get the baby by the time you call the police, whatever the situation. Cause yeah, yeah, somebody could have broke in your house and took some stuff and you got to rebuy some stuff. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting all of that. But uh, a Virgo, or it just be, I don't know, something just got past you, Virgo. And, and it's got you down because you're like, man, like, I don't know. Over the next seven days, what else we got here? What we can give? Okay, Virgo, you got the six of ones. Don't worry about it. Whatever was lost will come back. You have a victory coming up for you, and they're going to see you in all your glory. Like, what you did to me, how you lied, came in here, duped me, borrowed money, stole money, or I got my health down or lied to me or did something you ain't have no business. Don't worry about it because it's going to be just fine. You got the high priest to follow your high. You know, the, this is this is bigger than you. This is what I'm feeling. This is bigger than you, Virgo. This is something that had to happen. And I'm seeing it, but maybe it was some type of eye opener that you had to see. Maybe you weren't on the right path. Something here help you to re for you to release this person out of your life and not have to deal with them anymore if someone came in and wronged you. And you're going to have a victory in this situation. And they're going to see you have the victory. But follow your intuition. Keep moving forward. Have faith. Virgos always have faith anyway, majority of them. You know, you believe in a higher power. And the higher powers is stepping in and it's like, you don't have to worry about this at all. Because at the end of the day, turn your back to this situation that may have you down. This unexpected financial situation or in getting back on your feet or how somebody came in and what they did because karma will karma will surface for them. Believe that. Um, I'm seeing this eight of swords. You know, I haven't called a pull it. So, you know, um, this person, you know, may have felt they trapped you, but they didn't. This is the eight of swords. They feeling like, okay, maybe they trap you, but you're not because you're going to get back up and you're moving forward because you got a victory in this. And they're the ones feeling trapped now. Right? With the nine of swords, they're thinking about what it is that they did to you. They know it wasn't right. And now they're feeling trapped in their head because one thing they do know is they can't go back to Virgo. Okay? If they don't know nothing else, one thing they do know is they can't go back to Virgo. Okay? Yes. Oh, this is too many, Virgo. Gosh. All of these cards. Well, I'm just... I'm just taking these two. I'm not taking... All of those cards. All right. Let's see. All right. So, Virgo, I'm taking the two that I was guided to take to close this out for you, Virgo, for the next seven. Now, you got the Queen of Wands, and then you have the Page of Wands. 
So it's a new beginning, new passionate beginning. These are definitely ones standing in your power, knowing who you are and ready to rebuild or restructure or just get up out of that bed, get your health back together. Understand your trust in people goes a long way. And it's okay that you trusted and believed in people or try to help people because that's who you are. But that unexpected expense, it's all right because you got a passionate new beginning. You're going to feel good about it. You see that circle that's around the head with that one thorn it up that's like throwing up saying i don't even care i'm abundant and beautiful within my own right that's who i am and it will come back to me three fold tro right that don't even sound like that's no way y'all know what i mean okay and then you got the queen of one the queen of ones has it all that's beautiful abundant you get back on your feet you're moving forward and you see life fulfillment and happy again like you got the magic right there in your hand to start all over. So if somebody thought they duped you, they really didn't. They duped themselves because guess what? They can't come back to Virgo. That's what they did. They closed the door on that and that was meant to happen because whoever this person was around, it was just a burden and waiting for an opportunity to come in and do whatever it is that they did, whether it's not show up for the connection, walk away from the connection, have third parties, not see your worth, whatever it was, Virgo. That person was meant to be released so you can have something better in your life. And you were definitely moving in that path and we'll have a victory in it. Yes, we're moving on to Taurus now. Y'all, okay, Virgo, you don't need some of your money and saggy money because Taurus over here acting up. <laughs> Okay, y'all, let's just go. Let's just go with it. Taurus, what energies is Taurus in? Knight of Pentacles. Taurus, like, look, I got that loop, but I'm moving slow. <laughs> like, I'm moving slow. Maybe you didn't slow down, Taurus, because you got this reading, right? Hopefully, you got it before uh, the 10th of September, okay? Because tonight, it's like, look, I'm walking towards it, and I'm like, Taurus, no. Don't go. And you're like, I'm moving slow. I'm moving real slow. But when I get there, they better be gone. <laughs> like, they, they better be gone. So, you know, the night of Pentacles is the slowest. Thing, but they try to be strategic to make sure that they don't have to do this again. So whatever it is that you feel have you in prison or held back or stuck or stagnant at this time, you're trying to move really slow. So that by the time you get there, you have it all sorted out and you don't have to go through this again. I also feel towards there may be a situation that you're waiting to close out that just has you stuck and stagnant you got the two of pinnacles here and i think you can also have two different situations going on in your life at this time and one of the situations you may feel bound to or trying to walk away from or trying to figure out how to move towards it right because one is a, is a light situation and one is a heavy situation if you see this one is filled up this pinnacle and this one is light as air so something completes you and make you feel good and then there's something in your life that's just heavy it's heavy and full of uh, uh it, it's it's heavy and full of emotions and trauma i don't know i'm just feeling like or it could be a heartfelt situation where one energy makes you feel light and, and loose and available and, and able to do whatever it is you want. Then there's another energy that maybe you're attached to because maybe you had a situation with this person and you love them. You could have built something with them or it's a hard situation to cut yourself are loose because emotions are involved, but yet there's someone else that just you feel completes you and you want to go towards them. That's what I'm hearing. Um, you have the Knight of Wands towards I'm feeling like you know, with the Knight of Wands, this is happiness, this is passionate. This is what I'm telling you about. The other situations seem to be very passionate. Like, it may not be love in this situation. One may be love and one may be passionate towards at this time. Now, I'm not saying you got two lovers, but maybe you're just very passionate at this time and you know that it's turning to love. And you're juggling, like, should you go all in and accept this relationship or partnership with someone? Um... It, because you might be bound to some other relationship. You're not out of it or having closed the door on a previous. Now, y'all know, y'all and all these dog uh, cards. Too many. Okay. Um. Yeah, eight of, but whatever it is, whatever this is, you want to put the work at the Eight of Pentacles. You want to put the work in. You want to move towards this situation. You want to work it out. You definitely see a lot of options with this person. Um. 
you could be dealing with a, a air sign Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, Taurus. You could be dealing with a, a earth sign for sure. So, you know, just like yourself, or that's just you standing in your power coming in here. Um, and it's like you see something you want to put together with someone, work together with. It's like you see, you know, this one is like I see so many possibilities with this person. And I don't think it's the one, like, I think it's the one that makes you feel fancy free. Like, free to do something. And I, or either you're trying to move towards this person and you're just trying to come up with a better plan, a way to move towards this person. Maybe they even know that you have two situations. And one, right, could be the imprisonment card is you're bound to one situation and you're not completely closed the door on that one yet. Or marriage, divorce, long-term relationship, heartbreak. is something of that sort. Okay, but... All right, because y'all just think y'all going to take over the whole reading. Y'all took over most of the reading. We're going to do these cards right here to close you out. So you got the six of swords. So you definitely, you, you, this person keeps you, this person makes you calm, makes you feel good. This person, like, you have, like, underneath, you see how we have the eagles, the birds, or whatever, where there's stress and things like that. This person, like, when you're with this person, you don't even see the waves, right? It's like you are relaxed, like looking over into the water, like emotionally. Definitely could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, but this person is emotionally fulfilling to you. It's like they're very touching, loving. Um, they show a lot of passion and, and, and emotions towards you. Probably like, I'm feeling like... It's a way that you haven't felt in quite some time or a very long time uh, of someone wanting to, uh, I feel like this person is like very touchy, right? And they like to show up and and when they show up, a lot of the, the way they express themselves, I don't know why I'm getting it. The way they express themselves, it's like a lot of touching, maybe back rubs, maybe foot rubs, maybe... I don't know, rubbing heads, ears, not, not me, any pain. anyway, this person likes to, uh, uh, what is the word, darn it, uh, physically touch, right, physically, 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 blah, blah, blah. but then you, and you have the sun card, like, this person makes you, like, freaking free, that's what I was saying with the juggling, there's a situation that you feel bound to, but there's a situation that makes you feel like you can build on something, they make you feel good, you feel happy, you feel free when you're with this person, and you got the seven of cups here, right, so, um, and with the seven of cups, you know, that's all, that's some. that's like not knowing what to do, being stagnant. You have the magician here. And I feel that, Taurus, what you're working on is manifesting yourself out of the fact that you're stuck and stagnant at this time so that you can move forward and, and move on to your happiness and whatever it is, is, leave it behind because you're manifesting, you're walking right into a beautiful situation here. This is you manifesting right into the sun. Right, look, you going right into the sun. Your manifestations is coming for, is coming straight for you. This is this is beautiful. And you got the um, eight of pentacles. So the eight of pentacles is definitely you've been manifesting, putting the work in, what it is you truly want, and the direction you want to go towards, and who you want to go towards. And I truly believe you got the knight of wands here. Uh, you know this. <laughs> This, whoever this is truly makes you happy or this is you just happy to be in the presence and around this person and how this person makes you feel is is a way that you haven't felt in quite some time and i think you may be it uh just trying to manifest the you know maybe you're tired of waiting on an outcome for a situation maybe somebody was locked up or you're waiting on a judgment or something so that you can move on right uh and the seven of cups is also being stuck uh fearful not sure how things going to work out what will be the outcome of the situation i'm also feeling that too for you that you could just be feeling that way because you're waiting on an outcome or a judgment <coughs> All right, Taurus. So that's what else? Let me just get a closing message. Let's get a closing message for Taurus for 10, 16, September the 
10th through the 16th, Taurus. And it fell that way, and I don't think it should have been that way. Absolutely, Taurus. I told you, this is something beautiful coming in for you. You got the four wands and the sun card. This is stability, home, happiness, family, collaborating, love. I'm sorry, it ain't just you. It's whoever you collaborate with. They just as happy with you as you are with them. So this is over the next seven days. And you may see you got the lovers under the bottom. But the thing is... One is faded. Can you see that it's faded in the background? That true outcome could be somebody watching you also, Taurus. So maybe somebody you're leaving behind is definitely keeping an eye on you on social media or something like that. But this relationship is faded. Maybe it's not moving right now at this time, but it is coming straight your way. Your happiness is on the way. Be patient because it is coming. Like all of you guys... You know, uh, 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 all of the uh, earth signs have a beautiful, over the next seven days, the weekend and on, you guys are making decisions, strong decisions in your lives. And so, you know, this towards, I thought you had the worst reading of all, but you got the best reading of it all. Because you are walking straight into a fulfillment, a marriage, a relationship, a commitment, foundation, love, happiness, and not just on one side, it's both sides. Whoever this person is coming in your life as you release the old is going to make you the happiest person in the world. This is very nice. And you may not see it. Now you're like, I don't see it right now. I'm still stagnant and stuck. It's, it's, it's finna pass. It's finna pass. Unexpected income. Uh, courthouse, right? Because you need them to make that decision. And then you may think you got to pay out quite a bit and it's going to be unexpected. You may not have to pay what you think you have to pay. As long as you ain't going over there snapping, going to jail yourself, Tori. Because that was another situation that was coming up there. But y'all know, take it where it resonates. Guys, if y'all enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And I will do this for you guys every Friday. Okay? So just let me know if you enjoyed it. All right, so loving like my lovely earth signs, and I wish y'all all the best with all this, with all this. Loving like.